I'm Jack Conley, candidate for City of Summerall Council at Large on Tuesday, November 5th. I'm running because I love Somerville. It's my lifetime home, and I love having been part of the many changes that have made this city a place where everybody wants to be. It wasn't always this way, but thanks to the hard work of so many people over the years, we are able to make progressive changes. I'm running for councilor because I'm not happy about progress the city has lacked over the last two years. I'm not happy about the long overdue rewrite of the city zoning code that has languished, and I'm not happy about Union Square not being united, especially with the Green Line extension under construction. I'm not happy that the longtime hub of economic activity, Davis Square, is decaying, distressed, in a sad state of disrepair, crumbling apart one loose or missing brick at a time. The crosswalks have become hazardous, especially for disabled folks to navigate, to remain neglected for too long. Roadway repairs are needed on our public roads and main streets. Their current conditions affect cars, trucks, and especially cyclists. Doesn't matter if you choose to drive, walk, run, or cycle, our main streets are a patchwork of asphalt paved over potholes citywide, and it has to change, and I'll do something like that. I don't think I have to mention that traffic is an ongoing, continuous problem, leading to longer commutes and has negatively impacted the day-to-day -day lives of all residents of Somerville. In addition, the closing of the Ball Square Bridge, Medford Street, and Sonoma Lab detours has created so much confusion and frustration for residents, business owners, commuters, and consumers alike. So where is the progress? It seems to me you actually have to achieve progress in order to call yourself a true progressive. A lot of us recall how dozens of residents and small business owners planned and brought the red line to Davis Square how the city united with our then congressmen and Assembly Square developers to build the Orange Line T-Stop. Thanks to a united effort citywide, we're now getting ready for the Green Line station to open throughout the city. Don't forget that friends in support of the Somerville Theater were able to save that treasured landmark and that the Davis Square Task Force reshaped the square and civic-minded community members engineered the planning and build-out of Assembly Square. It took a lot of time, energy, and most importantly, community cooperation for many people to accomplish these feats. I'm pleased and remain proud to have been a part of it, but we can't continue these accomplishments or make tremendous changes to Somerville without us working together once more, especially on major issues like housing. Everybody will agree that Somerville and the entire greater Boston region have a large lack of housing. We need more of it, not just affordable housing units, but all types. The city's growing and the people in need a place to live and call home. This is not our problem alone. It affects and extends out to Cambridge, Boston, and greater Boston communities. It's something that needs to be addressed together. Unsuccessful developments like the 500 units that were supposed to be built on North Street and Ward 7 were swept under the rug after a proposed contract for 70% union development wasn't good enough. It's unacceptable that homes are not being built when more than ever before. We need them. The struggle of being a landowner or a homeowner is growing. New ordinances, while already very difficult to live by and adhere to, continue to be proposed by the current City Council. I'll work alongside SPARC, the Somerville Property Owners Coalition, to make sure that there is no longer a lack of notification when public hearings are supposed to be announced, and to address property rights abridged by the City of Somerville and the City Council, notably the likely water bill increases. Another ongoing issue citywide is our neglected unions and appointed city administration staff. There have been and continues to be unsettled contracts. There's been a complete loss for the fundamentals of taking care of our own. Day in and day out, our unions are responsible for the upkeep and ongoing maintenance of the city. No matter what the conditions are, yet many remain underpaid without thanks for being a significant reason why the city runs and works effectively day to day. Among all of the changes that need to be made in Summerall is one that ignored far too often, and that's the basic human services our cities provide. Outstanding programs like RESPOND, the Somerville Homeless Coalition, the Mass Bay Veterans Center on North Street, the Food Pantry Project Soup, and especially our programs focusing on addiction and treatments available, like the Alex Foster Foundation, Column Health, and Summerall Overcomes Addiction. We are fortunate as a city to have these nonprofit programs, but they are in need of ongoing resources, funding, and support 
in order to create safe environments, continue to provide shelter, meals, and treatment for those who battle and struggle with addiction in order to stop overdoses in our city. I'm ready to support and provide additional city support and linkages for these vital human services as one of my top priorities as Somerville City Councilor. I understand the needs of the City of Somerville. I want to continue to work with you and for you. I may have been here for a lifetime, but you may not be. And that's just fine, because no matter how long you've been here, I'm glad you're here as part of our Somerville community. It's vital that this city once again continues to move forward without you and the right people like myself to call upon. That's not possible. So I'm Jack Connolly, candidate for Somerville City Council at Large, and I want to work with you and for you so we may work together to make Somerville the great place it has become and make sure it will stay that way. So please consider me for one of your votes for Somerville City Council on November 5th, Election Day. And you can check out my website, and you can see that at www.connolly4counselor-at-large.com. Thank you, and we'll see you on the streets. Thank you.